meeting at the state executive committee meeting on Saturday. And there were folks wondering why there wasn't more food, something to drink. You know, they have food trucks outside where you have to go buy something. And that prompted um, Wayne Goodwin to get up and mention that in the Republican Party, if you go to convention, if you go to a district meeting, if you are a delegate to anything, you pay a fee. You are a subscriber. You donate in order to be able to hold that office, to hold that place. So if we were Republicans, we would have all paid a fee to be in this room tonight. And if we were having some sort of uh, refreshment, we would have contributed to that. We wouldn't be expecting somebody to give it to us for free. And so that was, that just, it lit, that statement literally took everybody's breath away. They were thinking, we're different. While I was sitting there, I got a text message from the North Carolina Democratic Party, and it asked me to be a sustaining member. And I could choose to do it on a monthly contribution instead of a single big contribution. So I thought, 10 bucks a month on my visa? Sure, I can do that. Don't ask me to write you a check for $120, but I can give you 10 bucks a month. And so I did that. And you can go to the North Carolina Democratic Party's website and go to that sustaining membership and get yourself on your $10 a month sustaining membership fee and do more to help that way. If everybody did $10 a month, we'd be good. A lot of us that haven't given in a long time. And back in the day when I was younger and had the energy and had maybe more disposable income than a retired school teacher does today, so I would get in my car and I would go to Jefferson Jackson that day. I would go to Asheville and be there for those $150 a plate things. I can't really afford to do that as a retired teacher with all the stuff that's been cut, particularly health care for teachers and the way I'm now taxed on my retirement income. So we have to find a way to make it affordable in this monthly sustaining fee. Do we want our EDGECON members to be sustaining members in EDGECON County as well as the state? Can our treasurer set up something where we would do a monthly debit to um, boost our coffers so that we don't have cost of the dinner at all the square is our balance right now, you know? What can we do to change that and make it more acceptable to a younger market? If you've got a way to flip that plastic, it'll fly. If you're looking for a cash or a check, eh, it's probably not going to happen. Do I have an online? No, I don't. Okay, okay. All right, listen, it's uh, 7.50. I'm gonna, you all, I'm going to have to go out here by 8 o'clock. Um, you know, there's a lot I have to say, but I'm, I'm going to say this. I put, together this. I put together this as a leader of this group. Looking at this, I, I put this together thinking that, okay, people that are positive and, and really for this, whether you were invited to have a discussion on this or not, you want to push this, because this pushes our party and helps us look better than we've looked in the past. That's my thinking when I put this together. It makes us look better than we look in some time. Now whether you not you accept it or not, that's up to you. But as a leader, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some of these things that I've set forth on this. Because I'm the leader. And leaders take charge. Okay? So this is what we're gonna we're, we're going to do this. We're gonna do this. Now you can jump on board with feel like you want to jump on board and wherever. But we're gonna do we're going to do this. Some of these things I've already set forth and I already started putting them into action when I first took office. Because it's time for us to look like we're who we say we are. Whether, whether or not you came in in the beginning or the last, doesn't matter. You ought to be willing to want to jump on board and help push this train forward. Look around this. When I, when I started coming to this meeting in 04, this room was packed with Democrats. It was packed. And some of you that were around there remember it was this room would be jammed packed with people. And they were different and they were proud. There's a, there's a lot of stuff that I see 
And I see people trying to pull me, you're not gonna pull me to your, to your little petty stuff. I'm not, I'm not going there with you. I'm not going there with you. This is what, this is what we're gonna set forth as Democrats of Richmond County to do. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get to put it to a vote. I'm just gonna continue on doing these things right here. Because I think this right here makes us look good. How many people agree? Some of these things make, makes us look good. Okay. Okay. Mr. Next Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, you're out of order because I'm going by the plan of organization. You would not stand up there and insult my intelligence. You're supposed to consult with the with the executive committee, and I'm requesting you do that. And also, while I'm I got the floor, I'm ruling this meeting out of order tonight because nothing was mentioned about a quorum. So until we it, it's stated that we have a quorum, I'm ruling this meeting out of order and also minutes are required that's why i went out of the room a while ago minutes are required for this meeting now i don't care how you deal with it but i'm going to say my piece when i come to these meetings because i'm going by the plan of organization now you stand up there and make little petty comments i'm talking to you as a man and from the democratic party standpoint so you're not going to stand up there and insult my intelligence because you think i'm going after you i'm going by the plan and all these folk in here tonight i am really upset because you know good and well that a meeting you are supposed to have minutes. That's just crazy. And then we have allowed sixteen hundred and forty dollars fifty three cents, and we got a balance of one hundred sixty four dollars until all this stuff was added tonight, and nobody wants to question it. And then you talking about me giving up some money? Heck to the north. And I'm done for the night. That's yeah, what y'all always do anyway. Move on, do nothing.
or you have to volunteer to do something to help the Democratic cause. Now, we're going to be doing some get out the vote stuff. We're going to be doing some voter registration stuff. And he has given that or de uh, designated me to be in charge of that. I don't mind calling you. I don't mind running you down, walking up behind you, going to your house. I don't mind. I will do it. But what I need from you tonight, I need from you is your name and your number to be on this committee with me to actively participate and get it a harvest for the Democrats. So anybody want work? If you would, please, call out your name. We're going to put it down on a sheet, and we're going to work on getting out to vote. We're going to come up with a plan that's suitable, that's suitable for Edgecombe County, okay? And this plan that we come up with will be shared with the district because that is what they're asking. Some of the things that your um, chair has come up with and has told you about. These are not just things that he just pulled down out of the blue. He has been in direct contact <coughs> with, um, with the party, with the leaders at the party level. He has been in direct contact with Don Davis. He has <laughs> been in contact. Florence, I think he even talked with you, didn't he? <laughs> he? It's not like he just, just pulling stuff down from the air. He is truly trying to make our party, the Edgecombe County Democratic Party, better. That's what he's trying to do. So now all, all I'm asking of you is that you help too. So if you would, just call out your names. I need, I need you on this get out the road and go to registration there. He was. I can't practice parts of politics. The only thing I can do is be a good Democrat and make a contribution. I got that too. It's coming. Uh -huh. You know, and, and, and in case I sounded a bit rough earlier, it was only because it was coming. You got to read your agenda. It was coming. Just like this get out the vote, it was coming. Voter registration, it was coming. Fundraising, it was coming. It's on your agenda. That's the, that was the reason. But I ain't got enough names on this committee right now. But that's, that's one of the things that we can that, that plan to be focused on our precinct meeting, our number one priority is to get out the vote. See, we want to do it together. Right. Okay. We, start with the we want to do it together because we want to have a plan right. that each little group, each precinct, can work. That's right. That's, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh -huh. So all and all of us, when we're working this plan, we're going to all be working the same plan and we're going to be working it together. And so and if you over here in this precinct and you need a little bit of help to get your plan together, then you know, I'm, because I'm on this committee, then I got to come over here. That's right. I got to come over here and help you. But well, we're gonna do this, and it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be good. I need some more names. I don't live in the county. I'm in the city. So I kind of have a street cap. Bronson. Well, I, I, I won't comment now. I reserve my comments for later because, uh, since you call, I will say this: that it seems as though the the party has is lacking organization. Absolutely. Because if you're looking for people to participate in this, we already have our precinct right. chairs, who mm -hmm. one you can organize those precinct chairs, the thing as mm -hmm. Pastor just alluded to, to, to get this get out the vote strategy right. together. So that you call us together, we say, hey, this is what we're doing for our right. get out the vote, this is what we're doing for registration, take this back to Hargrove Street, take this back to Pender Street, and then that's, then that's what I do, so we have that right. direction there. Uh, right. versus trying to push people to do things mm -hmm. we already have the structure in place we got to utilize what we have it's almost like uh, Moses sitting at the Red Sea with lunch says, you, you got your ride in your hand let's park the seat uh, so so certainly I signed up to do anything but uh, that's what I just look at there and, and I will while I'm talking 
Uh, one, one thing I, I, I look at here, you talk about getting young people out. One thing that young people focus on, we use the word we and us. There's no I in, in this type of situation. It's, it's what are we going to do? And so all tonight, all I've heard is I, I, this, this, that, and the third. Uh, this is my plan. I'm taking this, and, and we're doing it. You, we've got to have buy-in. It, it is what it is. Buy-in. Buy -in. Buy -in. Buy -in. you got to... Leadership is about buy-in. Buy-in. Buy 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 you, you have the plan, you, and, and you have that buy-in to, to make it effective. Okay. But, but coming, doubting people, this, that, and third, you ain't going to get it. I, I'm sorry. It, it, it is me. what it is. You, you, we're not going to fill this place up with young people, old people, and this, that, and third without having that collective buy-in, that togetherness. And if a person's asking about, hey, let me sit at a table, what's wrong with what's that? What's wrong with that? that table? Right. There is nothing wrong with that. Uh, okay, but, excuse me. Sure. Okay. We got to get out of here, and and this is one of the, if that, you know, this is just one. I'm not trying to cut you off. I appreciate your comments, and that's one of the things because you know about what it is that's gonna, that it's gonna take to attract young people. So would you be willing to work on this committee so that we can come up with a plan as Ashcroft County Democratic Party for get out the vote and then disperse it out to the individual precincts? Since you know about me. I'm willing to work on a committee that involves all the precinct chairs. And, and it's going to involve all the precinct chairs because that, that. once the plan is developed, then it's going to be distributed to all the precincts. I, again, I'm willing to work on a, on a committee well, that involves all, all of the precinct chairs. Thank if, you. if that's the plan, I'm willing to do it. Thank you. Because if we're going to go somewhere, we got to include okay. everybody. So, so if that's the plan, then, then I'm there. Otherwise, no. Anybody else? My name is Sarah. I know, I know it is. Barbara County. Barbara County. I just want to go in our precinct. I just want to go in our precinct. Yes, you do, because I saw it on the internet today. They mean at the library on February the 5th. I've seen it on the internet today. We haven't received it in the But I, I, that's what I know. I understand that. But I said I've seen it on the internet today. One one is meeting at the library. And I, on February the 5th, if I'm not mistaken. She, po she posted it. That's where I got it from, off of her web, off her Facebook page. Uh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me, but I did have some statistics, you know, and I, I wanted to let y'all know the importance of us coming together and doing this get out to vote and this voter registration. I uh, wanted to let you know how many uh, people um, we had in the county that was actually participating in the political process. We had 27,572 Democrats in that um, in the last election that we had. And of the Republicans, we had 6,257. But then you had all these other people that were also voting, like the Libertarians, seven. Um, the unaffiliated, 4,833 people. And that's a lot of people. That's a category right there that we're probably going to need to target when we start talking about uh, getting out to vote and getting them over back to voting for things that we need. Um, of the votes that we had, we had whites, 14,093 people that voted in the last election. Blacks, we had 23,553. We had 62 American Indians. We had 1,024 that don't uh, designate themselves as others. We had 317 Hispanics. We had 16,921 males. We had 21,436 females. We had a total of 38,732 people. We had a total of 38,732 people that we have to make contact with in order for us to get our democratic constituents, our democratic people in these positions that we can break this majority so that when um, Mr. Willingham's up there, you're gonna have something, you're gonna have somebody to fight at your side. Because right now, they got a majority. And until we break that majority, you know, we really don't have a say so. 
So we have 38,732 people that we do need to touch base with, we need to get in contact with, make sure that they get out the vote, but we also need to find out how many additional people we can let, help them see the light and help them know that they need to be voting Democrat. So I thank you for, to those of you who have volunteered to um, work with me so that we can come up with something, a strategic plan that's going to make sure that our county, our county, if no other county, make sure that our county is, is going to be um, going forward as a Democratic county. And thank you, Ms. Arnold. Thank you, Florence. You already said everything about the um, the fundraiser. That was on the agenda too. I'm sorry, I wasn't. No, I'm glad you did. That was fine. You know, um, <laughs> hopefully people listen at you because you can't do anything. You got to be able to buy your seat. You got to be able to buy your equipment. You can go and have a car. You got to be able to do. If you ain't got no money, you can't do anything. Like you said, Mark. You've got to have money, and that is one of the biggest reasons that the Republican Party has always been able to dominate Democrats. We never talked about giving, other than that, what you said was a dime, other than that dime, and half the time somebody else paid your dime for you because everybody don't even go to your precinct meeting. So, you know, that's, that's, that's not one of the things, but we, got, we have to change our mindset. Because if we're going to be a part, and we're going to participate and dance at the party, we're going to have to have some shoes and some music, and we're going to have to have some old stuff. But we can't dance at the party if we ain't got nothing. Okay. All right, Miss Barbara, I got you. But we need for you to donate. And what I need for you to do, I gave you envelopes. So please look at those, contribute as much as you can. Get your family members, friends to contribute as much as they can. And we're going to talk about doing this on an ongoing basis. But when you go to your precinct, go ahead and tell people before they get to the precinct meeting, bring some money, bring more than a dime. Bring more, than, bring more than a dollar. <laughs> bring some money. Because <laughs> we need to definitely raise some money, OK? All right. All right. Thank you so much. This one is oh, hear me? Yeah, my, number, my name is Martha Knight Johnson, and my number is 908-3035. If y'all got anything that you want to suggest to me that I can do or that we can do together to make this party better, Please feel free to call. 908-3035. Um, before Mr. Chair returns, I need to see, before you walk out the door, Linda Goins, Reverend Gray, and uh, Mrs. Deborah join just for a minute. <laughs> Thank you. A um, couple of things we have already. If you are a precinct chair, your packet is here. Um, your packet includes the 2017 through 2019 judges and chief judges. It also has your poll worker information in it. Um, would you please let me know when you, when your precinct meeting is. I want to attend. That was one of the things I put in the party building. I want to attend as many of the precinct meetings as I can. So I want to come in because I want to see exactly what you're doing and, and possibly if we can help you do it better. I am a chair, I have been a chair, and I know what it is like to have to go and no one shows up. So let's, uh, if, if, it's, if it's not too much to ask, would you please let me know when, when your precinct meeting is, and then allow me to come to that particular meeting. Um, let's just look at these dates right quickly uh, before we leave. Um, many of you know that the window is for the precinct meetings is uh, February 5 through 9. Um, the county convention is May the 24th. Um, it's from Registration starts at 9.30, the actual convention starts at 10. You will be notified as to uh, the location. We're working out the location for that right now. Uh, the district convention is going to be May uh, 5th, uh, 2018. It's going to be in Durham. And we're working out transportation 
for as many delegates as would like to go. We're working on that as well. Okay, uh, we want to take a, a large number of delegates to uh, the district convention as many as possible. The people don't like to drive, so we're working on that as a way of means to get you there. And also, we see that the state democratic convention is June the 9th, 2018. All right. Um, anything else that you all? Anything else to claim our attention? Anything else? Um, you know, I I I work very hard at, at the things that I do, and I realize that one person can't do it all. And I've learned this, and it is how I pretty much have operated the years. If I'm a part of something and I see that I have expertise in the area that another person does not have, or the leader does not have, I know how to go to that leader. First of all, I learn how to respect leadership. Whether you like them or not, it's the agenda that they're trying to push. Then I'm learning how to go to those people. Listen, let me, let me, let's do this. Let me work in this area. Mrs. Johnson uh, is, is working. She's heading the voter registration, that part, get out to vote. She's doing that. I told her, you, you have that. I don't even want to get involved in that. Let me, let me focus on the other things that I'm having to focus on. And I don't know if you all realize it or not, but this, this county, and let me just go off, go off for a minute at this. People talk about this county and they laugh at us. How unorganized we are and how we have poor leadership and how people come in and it's a lot of infighting. And now people have, you know, we, we, don't, we don't fight in media, we fight on social media. They're, 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 they're laughing and they're talking about it. And a lot of them say, well, how are you going to do it? I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try to pull us together and make us look better. Mm. You don't want to be a part of something that looks good and that's going somewhere. Thank you tonight for coming out. Ms. Wilson. Yes, Ms. Wilson. Thank you so much for all your leadership and what you all are doing. Martha, this question is directed to you on this envelope that we have. Who, I want to know, who gets this? Who gets this envelope? Is it the treasurer? It says post off the box 15, 13, but who picks it up out of the box? It's our post office box, oh, okay. um, and that's something that I implemented. That, that, that was one of the disperse, disbursements that you saw in the financial sheet that we have a post office box here in Rocky Mount. Oh, um, okay. We have not. We have we have we have not designated because we're not we've not gotten any mail of this sort yet. But we're going to work that out. I guess it would probably be, be the treasurer that would that would pick up the mail, or, or maybe even Madam Secretary. But we we will talk and discuss that. Who would be the person as far as getting the mail from the mailbox? Because to me, that's proof. Exactly. I want to know who is taking up my money. However, it won't be cash. It will be a check. <laughs> Anything else? What I'll do is I'll, I'll put you in contact with the treasurer. You all can work that out. Anything else to claim my attention? If not, I'll attend an incident motion to be dismissed. So moved. Second. Amen.